Hello, everybody, and welcome to a brand new Jurassic... No, to a brand new Brandon Z movie. <laughs> What's up, guys, gals, and non-binary pals? Bit of a Freudian slip there. It's Tuesday. It's not Friday, Jens, and you're playing Planet Zoo. Ugh. Well, uh, I hope you're doing uh, well out there wherever you are in the world. My name is Jens. I'm part of the community team here at Frontier, and uh, I'm going to be your host on this live stream for the next uh, 90 minutes or so as we play a bit more of Planet Zoo. Uh, <laughs> sorry for the slip up earlier. That was just me being in streamer mode, I guess. <laughs> and it's been a while since I last hosted one of these Planet Zoo streams. But uh, yeah, we are definitely playing Planet Zoo today. It is Tuesday after all. And uh, it's amazing to see so many lovely people joining me over in chat. We've got the Red Panda 234. We've got Der Harry, Osric42, and Heather G, of course, from the mod team is here. Oz the Capybara, we've got Matthew Barr, Tiffany, we've got uh, Lydia, of course, from the Frontier team is here. Then Lila Damsko is here as well. Lady Short Person is here. So many wonderful people. Harta, shout out to you. Nice little uh, frog emote in Twitch over there as well. We'd love to see it. Matt Lee T, YouTube, welcome to the stream. Uh, yeah, I hope you're having a good day out there wherever you are in the world. It is exciting times in the world of Planet Zoo right now because if you missed it, uh, last week we announced update 111 uh, coming October 18th and we also announced the next Planet Zoo DLC, the Planet Zoo Twilight Pack featuring five new animals coming your way to Planet Zoo. You've got the raccoon, you've got the common wombat, you've got the red fox, you've got the striped skunk, and you've got the Egyptian fruit bat as a walkthrough exhibit. And of course there's going to be several new scenery pieces and other things inspired by the spooky season, but also the, uh, the twilight, uh, as it were. Jack says, spooky season cometh! Indeed, it is October after all. Uh, but yeah, and then, of course, shout out to Heather for sharing the link there in chat. We love to see it. I'm going to actually, give me a second. I'm just going to fix my, fix my chair. Ah, much better. Now I feel much more relaxed now. I was like, I was like up here earlier. Now I'm just like, yeah, lean back, lean back, lean back. Feeling a lot better. Uh, but yeah, hope you're all uh, hope you're all excited about the pack. I saw you uh, saw everyone talking about it already over in uh, over in chat here. So there's a lot of shout outs to uh, to people's uh, favorite animals from the pack. Uh, yeah, a lot of uh, a lot of love for the Twilight pack. I think the Twilight pack is going to be a lot of fun for people. People seem to to be uh, to be liking it. And uh, yeah, feel free to shout out your favorite animal from the Twilight pack personally. I think the raccoon looks really dope. I think the the, the bats are going to be really cool as well. And uh, yeah, the red fox uh, is really cute. The common wombat also very very cute. If you haven't seen it over on our uh, over on our social channels, you can. Uh, there's going to be some animal and scenery reveals during the uh, week, and uh, eventually next week, next Tuesday, I believe. Yes, the 18th is when the Twilight Pack officially, officially launches. Blueberry Myrtle says, hello, looking forward to the new pack, can't wait. Lydia says she likes the Wombat best. The Harry says skunk and bats. And uh, uh, Math Lead YouTube, uh, raccoon and bats are mostly the building theme. I'm happy you like it. <laughs> it's freaking bats, I love Halloween, says Ancient Proverb, says Jack. Uh, so yeah, there's gonna be uh, it's gonna be cool. I think I'm gonna I'm, uh, dig it. I'm also looking forward to seeing what people do with uh, stuff that's in update 111. But yeah, please head on over to our forums and you can see all the information that we have to give you. And don't forget to check out the animal reveals over on our social channels. You'll find us on Twitter, on Facebook, on Instagram, and on YouTube as Planet Zoo Game. There you go. There you go. There you go. And uh, yeah, am I quiet? I hope I'm not quiet. Um, maybe I can, hold on, give me a sec. Uh, I can probably boost myself a little bit. Uh, there's no like background noise or anything. So it's just me and my voice right now. Uh, there's no like music or anything in the background, but we will fix that for the next one. 
uh, all right, happy to uh, have fixed it for you, Skippy. Mm. Da, 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 da. What was I going to say? I lost my thread. Yes, uh, you may have seen the thing. Also, sorry, I forgot to change my background. Usually I have a red panda background. I just forgot to change it this time. But uh, so let's stick with the, uh, with the, 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 the badgers. Badgers are cool. Badgers are cute. Also, you may have seen it up in the uh, right-hand corner for you. Left-hand corner. No, it's still the right-hand corner. Uh, if people follow us over on Twitch and uh, I think also YouTube now, you'll get a sort of uh, thingamabob pop up with a uh, cute little order on it. So shout out to Star Lizzie, to Carlos Lynchen, to Grafen, to Dr. Deletus, to Ed Borax, to Reative, to 281 Texas, to Sushi Auto Place, to Yuki and Hart for following us over on Twitch. Really, really appreciate it. And I do believe. That is everything before I jump into the game here. So today, ah, there it is. Skippy Granola, thank you so much for joining the Frontier Fam. We love to see you. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Yeah, so today I'm going to be continuing my playthrough of the Planet Zoo career mode. <laughs> Lady Charizard Masters 006, welcome to the Frontier Fam. Uh, yeah, so I'm on the, da -da 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 -da, it's the fourth or fifth scenario, I think. In the career mode, <laughs> Llama Daisy, thank you for the follow over on Twitch. And uh, uh, it is, uh, I'm playing through um, Myers Lake Zoo, I believe, Myers Lake Island Zoo. Uh, oh, there's a couple of other follows as well. Yeah, Anson Lau, there we go. And very shortly after should be uh, Limulida following us on Twitch as well. Thank you so much for joining the Frontier Fam. Thank you so much. Uh, yeah, so I'm on, uh, there we go. <laughs> I'm just gonna switch over to the game, I think. Ah, uh, oh, where's the button again? There's the button, woo, got the right button. Uh, so yeah, we're on uh, Myers, uh, da, da, da. let me double check again. We're on, hold on, I've got it, got it right in front of me. Uh, Myers Lake Island Zoo and uh, the thing about this particular zoo is that it's it's a bit chaotic when you start off. It's basically meant to test you. And so I've had to, there's been some reshuffling, there's been some things happening. Right now we are on our way towards a silver star. So what I need to do for that is I need to get 1600 guests in my zoo. Uh, that needs to happen for, that needs to be ongoing for three months and I need at least 14 habitat species in my zoo. So right now, Things are looking okay. I think I can add some more animals to the zoo. There might be some animals that can share habitats with each other. So that is what I'm gonna look into today. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Darth Ader saying, love the new pack. Thank you for your efforts and for these community videos. Thank you so much. We put a lot of hard work uh, into, I mean, the devs put a lot of hard work into the uh, the packs, obviously. And then we put a lot of hard work into these streams. And uh, since I have a tendency to mumble a bit, I'm gonna boost myself just a wee bit on uh, on the volume here. Uh, now, hold on. Please let me know if the game is quiet as well. There we go. Uh, so I'm gonna check, I'm gonna pause it again because I'm gonna <laughs> check if these aardvarks can share a habitat with anything with the meerkat. I don't think there are meerkats in this scenario, but I will check. There are not. All right. Um, so what I was gonna try to do is I was gonna try and see if I can sort of put other species in with some of the existing ones that I have. I don't think the hyenas can share. No, they don't benefit for anything. Um, Cause I don't want them to, I don't want the animals to suffer. I want them to have a good time in Mizzou. Um, maybe these are the Galapagoses. Can you share anything with anyone? The Capybaras. Don't think there are Capybaras in this particular, uh, this particular, nope, it's not. And then over here we've got our mandrels. Uh, let me double check them and see where we come up. They do not benefit sharing space with any other species. And then these are 
our aardvarks over here. Okay. I do think then we just need to start expanding out somewhere. Do we have any... Oh, I got my warthogs here. Cool. Warthogs. Love warthogs. <laughs> All right. Uh, never noticed meerkats and aardvarks could share. I think that's something new we've added in after we've added in the aardvarks. But yeah, so whenever we add in... Uh, whenever we've added in new animals, we also have updated the, the Zoopedia to see if there's any interspecies stuff that can be done. Ah, here we go. Uh, so, yeah, springbok, gazelles, antelopes. I think there are African, there should be African buffaloes in this level. Yes, there are. Cool. How big do you, what's your species data? Up to one male, up to three females. All right, so if I do one male and two females, that should do it. Um, let's get, ooh, that may have been a bit of an old male, but okay. Uh, let's get these buffaloes to my zoo. Now, hopefully, this will not be too small. If it is, then, ugh. Let me also double check here. Oh yeah, these can also go in with my elephants and things here. Is this a Halloween zoo? No, this is not a Halloween zoo. We are playing the career mode. This is, uh, uh, yeah, one of the uh, career mode levels. So right now I am working towards uh, getting, uh, getting a higher star. And let's see then if I can have these Increase my ticket prizes. That's cool. Um, water treatment requires repair. All right, we're going to get on that. There's been some fighting, but we're working on it. Cool. Okay. T-Rex, welcome to the stream. Uh, is that ground one of the new biomes? No, this is not. This is, I think it's just the lighting. I think it's just the time of day and the biome combined that makes it look the way it does. Uh... Luca Petrid, why is not Capybara in the game? The Capybara is in the game if you buy the Wetlands Animal Pack, but the Capybara is not in this particular level um, because, well, the career mode was, uh, the, the animal list for the career modes, as far as I'm aware, was made before the DLC was, uh, was completed. And so that is why it is what it is. Um, I should continue expanding out this. And... Let's also, so right, what I'm thinking is I should do some sort of habitat here. Um, so I'm thinking let's do, yeah, let's do something. Are you still not? Mm. All right, you're in, you're where you're supposed to be. Good. Okay. Oh, I'm still paused. There we are. All right. Uh, this is not sandbox. We are playing career mode. I just need to get my feet wet, essentially. Okay, what should we, what should we do for this area here? We've got a pretty decent sized area. Let's see what we have in our animal market. <laughs> At least I don't have any scientists to work to the bone here on Planet Zoo, unlike the Jurassic World Evolution two strings. Mm. Very good point. All right. Also, yeah. If you are uh, if you are over on Twitch, if you type exclamation point, I believe it is Animal Facts. I'm going to double check that Animal Fact, singular. Then uh, you should have something pop up in the uh, in the chat as well. Okay, Turbo Man 2120. I really want to start playing this game, but I get intimidated uh, by setting aside the time to learn it. Would you recommend starting with career mode or just free build? I mean, it kind of depends on what you're looking for. I think the career mode is a pretty good uh, is a pretty good way of learning all the management aspects of the game. If just building is your thing, then I recommend checking out some of the amazing Planet Zoo. Uh, content creators who have done, you know, a, 
large amount of tutorial videos. People like uh, The Lady Designer, Rudy Rancamo, um, 8-Bit Josh. Um, yeah, Heather G also says if you want to talk to others, there's also the forums, obviously. Ton of helpful people there that can help out. And yeah, it, it might be a bit intimidating because like when you load up when you load up the sandbox for the first time, there's just so much to do. There's so many things you can do. But I think it's just a matter of, yeah, just dive in, get your feet wet. But uh, generally, I think the the, um, the the career mode will will get you started fairly well, just learning the basics of how to build. And then from there you can you can continue on uh, continue on building, continue on playing. Uh, oh, let's, hmm, maybe the gems buck. I do like the gems buck. It's a good animal. Should we do the gems buck? Yeah, let's do the gems buck up here in this area. Uh, let's see, how many of them do I need? One male up to nine females. Okay, so let's do, yeah, one male and some females. Cool. All right, I'm going to go for this young one here, the spry one, and this one, and this one, and this one seems good. Uh, let me also double check my Zoopedia to see how much, uh, there we go, habitat. Fair bit of land requirement, no, all right, grade two over 125 meters, all right. Let's go for it. Grade two resistance. I kind of generally don't really care for the chain link fence. Maybe we should go for the... Yeah, I think we can go for the... Uh... Let's go for the uh, the glass, shall we? And I think I'm going to try to... Oh, it's going to be tricky squeezing in two, though. <laughs> oh, whoops, that wasn't supposed to happen. All right, let me also just remove this now. What is the height of everything here? Oop. All right, got to raise some of this up here to make sure that it's the correct height. And that should be... Ooh. There we go. Cool, amazing. And I do also think that I'm going to... Um, have this area at the back is going to be maybe the red brick. I do like the look of the red brick. Yeah. Yeah. Why not? And why is this selected? Oh, never mind. Um, I think it's going to be a tight squeeze to put more things in here, but here, I could put some shops here maybe. Yeah, red brick works. Cool, fantastic. <laughs> Major English, thank you for uh, thank you for following us. Thank you for joining the Frontier Fam. Let's see. There's our mosaic, our tiles. Ooh. Let's also get some length on this path here. <laughs> How is I not following already? I don't know. Why weren't you? It's a very, very good question. All right, can we? Can this go all the way around? Perhaps. Perhaps not. Oh. Oh God. Oh God. What? Ah. <laughs> I have no idea what that was. That was oof, interesting. Oh. Oh, almost had it. Come on. Come on, game. Yes. 
Fantastic. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what that was, but sometimes that just happens. Let's put a habitat gate in there. Symphalies, welcome to the Frontier Fan. Thank you so much for joining us. Okay. And now, to make sure that everything is uh, nice and tidy. So, it was the... Leonardo Machado, thank you for joining the Frontier Fam. It was the Gems Bok, I believe. There we go. So they're going to need a large food trough. And they're going to need a large water trough. And I'm also going to give them the water bowl, because why not? I don't think they need heaters or anything. They're going to need shelter. Um, I kind of don't remember how big it needs to be, but we'll figure that out. I don't have to worry about them climbing, thankfully. Uh, and let's get some of this uh, some of this bedding in here. There we go. And finally, some enrichment items. Make a nice... Hmm. There we go. Make a nice rubbing pillar. Some scent marker stuff. And a barrel feeder or two. There we go. Nicely done. It's, you know, it's still a little bit basic, but uh, that should hopefully be okay for the time being. So let's get them sent in there and let's continue on. Okay. No. There. No. Yes, now it's unpaused. And these have not been... All right, all right, all right. What else can I do? So right here we have our hyenas. Here we have our Nyalas. Did they get along with anything? Southern white rhinos. I don't think... No, exactly. Let's see what else we have here. <laughs> All's the capybara. Welcome back. Tell me about your tortoises. Uh, oh, yeah, we can have more grizzly bears, mandrills, nyalas, zebras. Oh, and one western chimpanzee I can add in here. Wait. How are these 14 habitat species? Okay. So that means, yeah, it needs more species. But I have all these. So, yeah, there's the buffalo. Oh, right. Hold on. Oop, there we go. Right, I need to do my work zones. <sighs> Don't know what's happening with these bots, but uh, we will take care of that in a jiffy. So, this uh, needs to go in the entrance zone. So let's just add in this there. That's exhibit 11, or habitat 11. What's the life expectancy of the hyenas? I once had a hyena that lived for around 35 to 40 years named Callum. Very good question. I will check that in the Zoopedia. Spotted hyena. Um, they, let's see, life expectancy, 20 years to 20, yeah, 20 years for both, uh, for both sexes. I mean, sometimes, Sometimes things just live longer. Uh, I also heard someone uh, really enjoyed the, the placement of the of the buildings. Yeah, the buildings are are great. Oh no, the bear, <laughs> the bear has escaped. Oh no, <laughs> please, someone, get this bear. <laughs> oh no, the bear. All right, this we need to take care of. Oh no, the bear! <laughs> I love how he just... Oh, he just climbed over. Ah, oh, climb proof. Let's see, climb proof, both. Yeah, this, this fence needs to be swapped out. Definitely swapped out. <clears throat> Did not think about that. Uh, yeah, let's go with red brick for everything, shall we? Oh, oh no. 
Rainy Clouds, thank you so much for joining us over on Twitch. Oh, it's because it's still technically... Not climbable. Why can I not? Come on, let's get this bear. <laughs> uh, okay, go on any bear proof bricks. Yes, I do. Edit barrier. But I'm not sure why it won't. That's odd. Is it because the bear is still in there? Not her box. Welcome to the stream. All right, I'm gonna. Um, can I? Yes, I'm gonna box this animal. And. <laughs> Let's see, edit barrier. There we go. It's probably because it was still. No? Weird. I see you there, Orange Spark. There's no wolves in this zoo. Okay, that's taken care of. Or I can add climb proof to the. Yeah, that's true. I should just do that. Uh, let's see. And let's do left. Probably, but I don't know why this won't. Aw, you're injured. Aw. All right, I need to make sure that these have a good time as well. Uh, let's see, terrain. Just add a climb proof. Yes, I'm working on it. I'm going to make sure that these are doing okay as well. So we need less soil, and we need more rock, and we need more sand is what we need. There we go. All the sand you can want. Wonderful. Just need a bit more of hard shelter and you should be good to go. So let's head to habitat, shelter. Um, which one, all right, I use that one. No, I don't really like the look of it. Nope, come on. You okay now? There we go. Okay. Back to this bear. So these need to get climb proofing added. Oh, there's something obstructing it. Is it? Is it these? Might be these. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> oh god. Probably shouldn't move them then. Oh, where can I put this bear though? <laughs> I need to Oh, I need a new bear habitat. It's probably the reason why. Let me see if I can if I can edit this. Does it give me the same? No, that works. Okay. Climb proof. All right, so the one in the middle is the one that's obstructed. Uh, this needs to be left. That 
as odd indeed. I will figure this out. There we go. All right, bear. You can come back. <laughs> you can come back out of your box. <laughs> All right, everyone. Nothing to see here. Bear has been taken care of. Ooh, you're not doing too hot, are you? Um, let's see. You've got a decent everything else, but... Oh, yeah, your shelter is not good at all, is it? Um, okay, let's then add in some more shelter space. Uh, is the mesh stone wall climb fruit? Not sure where it's called. Um, not sure which one you're talking about. All right. You get to go to the research. Oh, these Nyalas also. Now let's. All right. All right, Nyalas. You. Uh, I'm going to give you some contraceptive. No, actually, you know what? No, we need more of you. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, so one sick, and you're hungry. You should have enough food, though. Nutrition. Requires a keeper. Okay. Keeper is coming. Oh, are you fighting again? Right, I need one more male hyena in this place. Spotted hyena. Let's go. You there. Let's get you in here. Hopefully that will cut down on some of the fighting. Uh, not an ideal temperature range. Jesus. Oh, you also need... Yeah, you need space. Insufficient area or crowding issues. That's okay. Temperature, and you don't have enough shelter. But what about this? Oh, is this because I... Now how are you doing? Is that better? There you go. Yeah, that's much better. <laughs> All right. Um, but yeah, temperature. I did not know you needed... Um, yeah, you need some more space. That's fine. More plant and tree coverage. Okay. I can do that for you. Let's put some of these other trees in here. Trees that are more familiar to you. Let's remove some of these not great ones. Some spruce. Spruce this place up a little bit. Uh, some nice moss, maybe. Let's see what else we can add here. Ooh, nice big elm tree. Yeah. Boom. It's a big tree. And this other elm tree. Some bamboo. No, that's not good bamboo. Uh, refresh the chat because it seems to have stopped. Ooh, nice fig tree. There we go. All right, bear. You doing better now? Oh yeah, temperature still. Oh yeah, that cut down on space because obviously it did. Uh, let's remove that. You need your... Uh, what is your temperature range? I definitely need to move this bear someplace else. Um, okay. Hello, Lily Duran. Welcome to the stream. Can I find it in the Zoopedia? Uh, da -da -da. Minus 10 to minus 28. All right, let's get a cooler up in here. And help this bear chill out a little bit.
Yeah, no wonder this bear was struggling. Poor bear. Oh no. I have an inspector at my zoo. Ah! So much going on. Please call, please keep her. Please come and take care of these poor animals that are slowly but surely not having a good time at my zoo. Oh god. Alright, there's should be enough of you now to where things aren't too bad. And uh, you're doing okay? You're glad they're here now, not 10 minutes ago. Yeah, that's true. Because if they were, things would be uh, not good. Okay, so this bear needs more space. So I think I'm going to put this bear up here, maybe? But I do need... I need three more habitat species. Okay, what else can I add to this? Let's, let's pause it again. Don't, don't speed it up yet. Um, I th thought... Where are my African buffaloes? Did I not put a bunch of African buffaloes? It does say in transit. Oh, there you are. It's just taking a while. Uh, I think maybe I also need more zookeepers in this place because it's starting to be a bit crowded. Um, lions are your buffaloes. All right, what else can we get here? Oh, God. Everything is going poorly. Okay, we need more... Uh, um, Caretakers, probably. Yes. Definitely up here in the entrance zone. Uh, let's have you there. And now let's see here. So again, African buffaloes. Ooh, American bison. I can put those somewhere. They can hang out with the pronghorn antelope and the black-tailed prairie dog. Um, Lily Darn says, how is everyone doing today? I'm going to... Blah, 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 blah. I'm doing good. It's been a busy time recently <laughs> for many reasons. Um, ooh, there's... Ooh, tigers. I need more zoo credits, though. And these chimpanzees. Ah, so it's... Yeah, those are the remaining ones that I need to add in. There's some cheetahs here, I think, as well, I've seen. But they cost... Okay. Hmm. Ooh, okay. I wonder... Right, they need grass. Oh, they can do with any grass. Okay. Can I just stick these together? Maybe? Hmm. We're not sure. <laughs> uh, probably not. All uh, right. Uh, this is a tricky one. I'm sorry for waffling, guys. Um, I'm just trying to figure out what I can do here. I could always try to try to carve out some more space for my poor bear out in out here somewhere. And yeah, all this is for these ones, I think. Okay, 
I should probably put my buffalo in here, not in with the warthogs. Maybe I'll put the warthogs there. That should be fine, right? Do you get along with warthogs? Uh, 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 yeah, you do. Alright, let's do it. Box all animals. Oh, that's a lot of them. And select all of them and move them here. All right. Now. <laughs> well, that's 16, 1,600 guests, so that's something. Uh, what path is this? It's a wooden path. Is it this one? Yeah, it's this one. All right, cool. Oh, that's... Ugh. That looks odd. Uh, can we put this on a grid then? Yes, we can. Something like this, maybe. And then... So what I'm thinking is I can have something here and I can have something here. And this can just be deleted. Are there any blueprints here? That's a good question. Prefabs. Oh no. No, you haven't. You're right there. Weird. Where was I? Blueprints. That's where I was. Uh, yeah, it's mostly climbing frames, shelters, that kind of thing. Someone got out. They're fine. They'll be back in. Uh, probably not too good for this inspector hanging out. Oh, my poor artwork is stressed. Everything is going poorly in this poor zoo. Oh, God. My poor, poor animals. My poor vet. My poor overworked staff. Everyone, everything is just bad. Oh, God. Uh, let's see here. Guest facilities. Um, we need some bins. Y'all, you need to just not be littering all the time. Can you, pl can you please stop that? That's the way the scenario goes. Absolutely. Uh, let's get some bins up in here, too. Like there. There. Ah, oh, these bots are relentless. Time out, please. And block. You know what? Let's just emergency capture this. How did you get out of your box? Hmm, strange. Some extra long grass in here. Okay, so what I wanted to do before we were so rudely interrupted is to, uh, I wanted to add in some shops and not that one. right here because I thought that could be a good idea maybe some chief beef and some drink stuff oh no oh no ah oh god please mechanic help <laughs> uh, did you miss anything yes everything is going poorly <laughs> There we go. <laughs> Little trick. <laughs> that elephant. Are you not doing too hot? Too few adults and juveniles. Oh, you need to... Yeah, you need some... Okay, let's get some more elephants in here, I guess. 
Uh, African savanna elephant. Oh no, they cost conservation credits, which I don't have. Thank you, Penlade, for joining us. Oh, yeah, you need power. Of course you do. Okay. Uh, facilities. And let's do a transformer. Wrong button. And let's just have that behind here. And staff path. Oh, that's pretty wide path. Oh no. <laughs> oh god, what's going on? Oh god, this place is not clean at all. Please, keepers. Uh, okay, I need more keepers. Nope, that's not what I was going to do. Uh, you are going to work in the entrance zone. Let me check this work zone that I've got set up here. Yeah, you're part of it. All right, cool. And then something had escaped. This is not good. All right, keep urgently called. That's fine. Oh, good lord, this is <laughs> not going well. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. Um, okay, you need power. I'm working on that. There we go. Let's do a staff path. Along here, maybe? There we go. You're going to have a ton of fun in this Siberian scenario. Something tells me I'm not, <laughs> depending on, uh, based on the tone of your voice. All right. There's still fighting happening here. I don't think there should be. Oh, hooray, vet research is complete. <laughs> All right, nice. Aardvarks, wonderful. Uh, I think let's just keep that going. Oh, no. All right, let's get some more staff in here. Jasper van den Hoven, welcome to the stream. Oh, so many people need to work in this entrance zone. Oh, I feel sorry for them. Hold on. You there. Yes, just keep... Yes. One of my aardvarks about to mature. That's great. Oh, you've been in the box for too long. Uh, okay. Right, let's cancel this move, unbox all the animals. And let's see if I can move it now. I think I just need uh, more people to do the work. Like this guy. Ah, oh, Kinder Zoo Gaming, welcome. Elephant Puppet, welcome to the stream. All right, uh, I was going to do something up here, but uh, I'm starting to think that maybe this zoo is just going to work out for me in the end. Uh, all right, let's get some barriers up. So I was going to... Where am I? All right, these elephants are... Wait. So right now, I did have a titan beetle thing. They're not there. Okay. What are the... Because I do have some animals in exhibits. Yellow anaconda. Okay. You there. Do I have more of these yellow anacondas in the... 
market. I do. Let's get a female one. There. Just sell the Titan Beetle and replace it. I mean, the Titan Beetle is dead now, unfortunately. Um, uh, let's see. Appeal. Puff Adder. Ooh. Do these giant burrowing things. There we go. Adopt both of these. Send them to my zoo. Now, where is my other exhibit? That's the trade center. There it is. What is your favorite Halloween movies? Is Nightmare Before Christmas a Halloween or, or Christmas movie? I think it's a Christmas movie, but that's just me. Uh, I know some people feel otherwise. And favorite Halloween movie? Mm, not sure. I like Halloween, like the original Halloween, even though it's you know a lot of the things happening there is a bit cliched. But it, was cliche, it wasn't cliched at the time, and it's just cliched now, because, you know, that's where it all came from. All right, you're about to have offspring. That's great. That's wonderful. We need more of those. I was going to build a habitat. Oh, no. All right, you're getting there. Have you two been moved yet? Yes, fantastic. Why are you in a box? Cool. <laughs> oh, God. Everything is just awful. How are you stressed? Trying to... Oh, do you not have enough places to hide? Is that it? You have plenty of hub coverage. Uh, yeah, and I see there's some people asking about uh, Twitch drops and things like that. That only uh, that's only for when we play. Um, dismiss all alerts. I need to know if what's new and what isn't. Uh, that's only when we play Elite Dangerous. So there's no Elite Dangerous uh, on this channel when we play Planet Zoo. That's it. Okay. Yes, I know. It's because you're stressed, but I don't know why you're stressed. <laughs> Is it because of all the people? I think it might be because of all the people. This barrier also isn't too good. Um, do you need places to hide? I think you do. Let's see if we can help you out there. There we go. No! Don't. No. Yeesh. And let's have you there we go. There's an aardvark in here. Trust us. Uh, did I mess up my work zone now? did. There we go. Cool. Are they carrying balloons? Yes, there are some people carrying balloons. Ah, Rona, welcome to the, welcome to the Frontier Fan. Thank you so much for joining us. Okay, now we're back to it. Everything is okay-ish. There's a huge crowd in the monorail queue that's causing the artwork to be stressed. Aha! Thank you, Cody. Oh yeah, and they're probably looking at the aardvark, but this may have helped a little? I don't know. All right. Everything's okay-ish. Welcome to Planet Yens, where everything is okay-ish. Uh, right. American bison. That's what I was thinking. Do I have some? In no, I don't. There's apparently some animals on the way uh, to something place in this <laughs> uh, shack. I love that name. 
So let's get some of these in. There's some more grizzly bears that I can add. I also do need to add in more of these elephants. Uh, Def Nas, welcome to the Frontier Fam. Thank you so much for joining us. Okay. Let's uh, do some more red brick. And I think I'm just gonna... That's not the best, but it'll do. And I think maybe I'm going to do something similar over here. I know it's not the prettiest, but it's fine. I mean, if you've seen me in my Jurassic World Evolution streams, you know that I'm sometimes a man of form over function. No, function over form. Ugh. Uh, let's build this out a little bit. No, can't do that. Oh, it's because of this. Hold on. You there. You there. I see you there. Doot. There we go. All right. Paths. Let's align this to grid. I think I need to visit this zoo. I'm not sure if you want to, but, I mean, go ahead if you feel like it. Uh, um, let's get habitat gate. there and one in there and then hook them up with staff paths there and there okay what are we gonna put in here uh, the bison Send that there. And I do need to start generating some conservation credits here, I think. Oh, poor guy. Can... Hello? Can anyone please move this warthog? Please? It's ever so lonely. How did... what? How? Oh, yes, right, my work zones. Okay. Disease is now life-threatening. Why are you there, though? What's go... Oh, they are stuck. They are physically stuck. Uh, okay. We have some congestion here. Okay. This is not going well. That's bad. Um, okay. Let's see if we can take care of this. Uh, I think I'm going to place a keeper hut around here-ish, though that might have a bit of an impact on what people think about my zoo. And we're going to put a trade center here. Send the buffalo to quarantine. I would, but it is currently in transit, which means it is sort of just, it's just sort of nowhere and everywhere at once. I don't think it is listed. Oh, wait, no, there it is, in transit, right. Um, yeah, it is literally unmovable. All right, I guess we continue as normal. Uh, let's see, facilities, resource center, quarantine, keeper hut. Let's keep it large. So let's remove this because we don't want that. And let's get a staff room up in here as well.
So the thing is, I don't think I can physically move the guests. Oh wait, yes I can. There we go. All right, you guys move, please. And you can move as well. That should hopefully... All right, here we go again. Go, Buffalo, you can do it. I actually did not know that I could move my guests, but that's good to know. Oh, come on. Please, Buffalo, please. Now they will fly. Please to move. Oh, maybe, maybe. Uh, I do think maybe we've uh, encountered a bit of an issue. What I'm going to, I'm okay, so. Uh, that wasn't meant to happen. I'm going to do the following. Oh yeah, this poor elephant is also not doing good. Uh, all right, I'm going to do, I'm going to jump to here and I'm actually going to save my zoo. I'm going to reset the game. I'm just going to restart the game just to see if that clears out a bit of, clears out a few things. Whew, this, this career scenario is turning out to be more stressful than I thought it would. I thought it'd be easy. I just adopt a few more animals, put them in the zoo, everything will be fine. Little did I know. Little did I know. All right, let's try again. Uh... So there's a question here, Aaron. Does the game allow you to visit other people's zoos? Not exactly. So your an avatar of you can visit your Steam friends' zoos um, whenever, when they're playing. So sometimes I'll have sort of avatars of my friends list come and visit my zoo if they also own the game. And I do think you can subscribe to friends' uh, zoos as well. But you yourself can't walk through them. Um, there is, however, uh, there is, however, uh, sorry, 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 the possibility, like, you can walk through your own zoo in first-person view if you want to. Uh, yeah, through Steam Workshops, you can, like, if your friend has uploaded their zoo to, to, to there, then you can, yeah, you can subscribe there as well. I do think Heather knows it a little bit more than I do right now. Um, but yeah, but you can, let's say, let's say you and I are friends on Steam. Then if I upload my zoo to the Steam Workshop, you can then download that zoo and then walk through it as you, uh, um, walk through it. But you can't, there's no like multiplayer. I can't like connect to your zoo when I'm playing and then walk through it, if that makes sense. Uh, that makes sense. All right, wonderful. Make sure you have the please be quiet sign for the artwork. I didn't know that was a thing. All right, let's try to see. Well, everyone's sick and you're still stuck. That's wonderful. Hey, you. Okay, I had you somewhere. There. Let's just... <laughs> uh, 
uh, where else were you? So that would be you. Hello, Aramis. Welcome to the stream. Is this game on Epic? I don't think Planet Zoo is on the Epic Game Store. So uh, it should only be on Steam, as far as I'm aware. All right. So let's also see if we can get these signs. Do not feed. Ah, do not disturb. Please be quiet around the aardvarks. They get stressed. Okay. Did my keepers finally make it? They did! I solved it. Now you, are you happy here? Please tell me you're happy here. Ah, oh, you need a bit more space. Oh, you need more. You need swimming area. That's what you need. So. All right, you, of course, you need a vet. You're being transported. Poor you. You also need to be moved. You're supposed to be there. All right. But otherwise, you're okay. You're not suffering. Good. Put the buffalo in the elephant. Yes, I'm gonna. Let's let's just do that right away. But of course, one of these poor buffalo is very sick. Oh yeah, they need to. They should go in here. But you 100% need to be taken to Animal Hospital. That's the Trade Center. Um, there we go. Okay, you two are probably also suffering because you have nothing. You need less sand and more grass. Okay. Let's see if we can make some of this sand here go away. See you later, T-Rex. Thank you for coming to the stream. Hope you have a good night. All right, there we go. You have enough space, that's okay. You have enough hard shelter, that's good. Uh, you are American bison and you are very easy to take care of. That's good. All right, we're back on. Uh, American, American bison. Here's some food. Here's some mud. You can wrestle round in. Bear Enjoyer, welcome to the stream. Love that username. It's fantastic. It's so good. Is this the same same zoo with the otters and squirrels? No, that is Plan Elt Zoo, which this is not. This is one of the career zoos, and I am currently not doing too well, if I'm going to be honest. Uh, but uh, we persevere. This, should this just be work zone four? Why not? Dude, dude, dude. Put it all in it. No, you know what? This is still the island edge zone. I'm just going to put everything in there. There we go. It is a tough scenario. He's doing well. I don't feel like I'm doing well, Heather, but I do appreciate it. <laughs> Tickets are underpriced. High amounts of litter. Multi yeah, okay, fine. Well, the zoo is very dirty and the animals keep getting sick, but otherwise, it was very cheap. <laughs> oh, God. So much litter. Why are you throwing everything everywhere? 
Why? Use the bins. They're there for a reason. Oof. Bunch of savages in this town. <laughs> uh, Heather says they have to start over three times. I am still on my first try. That is true. Oh, no, you're sick. You're sick. All right, because you're contagious, of course. Cool. More of that research. Let's put some... All right, things happening now? Things good? Good, generally. Oh, this needs power. Okay, we can do that. Power. Uh, not sign transformer. There we go. Now a step path. Or not. Maybe here. Oh god. That wasn't supposed to happen. <laughs> Half of this belongs to staff. When there are too many trash cans together, my guests would drop litter between <laughs> them. Ah, oh, you s absolute savages! How dare they! I give them all these nice things, and then they'll just go, whoop, nope. I'm just going to drop this right here. Obviously, I know it's the challenge of the game. It's just funny. It is just funny to think about. All right, let's get some bins up in here. There's a bin. There's a bin. You're a bin. You're a bin. Has been. Make a path of trash cans they have to walk on. <laughs> that is actually a very good point. Ah, uh, oh, there's so much poop everywhere as well. All right, how am I looking? So I need two more habitat species in my zoo. Let's go to animal trading. Two more habitat species. And it is likely that I will have to use conservation credit credits to buy them. Like the cheetah. Uh, so I need, probably need cheetahs. Uh, I've got these grizzly bears, mandrels I have, I have nyalas, I have zebras, or zebras, tigers, tiger, tiger, okay, we just need, oh, but I don't have enough conservation credits, that is the thing, but let's adopt, let's adopt this tiger. And first we'll send it to quarantine. And then let's take a look at some of our other animals here. That's trading. Mm. And see what can be... You're quite young. Maybe you two can be released to the wild. 129. That's... Yep. Why not? Let's, I think that's, I think that might be the play here to start uh, sending some of these out. That's our alpha. All right, you can't be sent, obviously. Uh, oh, God. Z <laughs> zebra, <laughs> zebra, zebra. Let's go with stripey horse. I agree. We got a lot of stripy horses. Um, maybe you and you can be sent off. Maybe you. 
these two are still... They need to start making some... Oh, there's a lot of mandrills here. A lot of... Girl mandrills. Oh, these are juveniles. They can't be sent off. Okay. All right, cool. Now, I can't do... Well, I can do one elephant, but I shouldn't. I can do one of these. I can get one of these cheetahs. I can get a cheetah. All right, we have a cheetah. We're at least going to make it to silver. I'd often place one new Siberian... Oh no, I should have done the Siberian Tiger. No! We receive a zoo inspection with an overall star rating of three. That's not going to happen. Research grizzly bear at level three. Yearly profit, have at least 2,200. I mean, we're kind of there already. Just kind of have to have just the bug in the tiger. <laughs> Everything gets sold off. Just the bug. I mean, I could do that, actually. Okay. All right, what do we have in storage? This Siberian tiger. I mean, I could always just maybe... Bold, welcome to the stream. Thank you for, thank you for joining us. Right, you need vets. You're probably gonna die at some point. Be unalivened. Oh, good God, finally. Ah, Dutch travel dude, welcome to the stream. Uh, what am I trying to, what am I looking at here? Right, that's our entrance. We're not gonna mess with that. We've got these over here. One of our gems box is about to mate. Oh, there's so much disease. Inspector arriving soon. Okay, cool. Should I just Sheeny, welcome to the Frontier Fam. Thank you for joining us. Can I just... Can I just do that? Oh no, I can't do the terrain thing. Err. Line to grid. Nope. What I was thinking of was maybe I would just... Ah, can't do that. What I was thinking was maybe I could just have this sort of split in half and then part of it could be um, part of it could be the maybe I can do this like part of it would be the lion habitat or tiger or whatever habitat and the other would be um, cheetah <laughs> habitat <laughs> I mean potentially I could do that probably wouldn't be the best habitat but Oh yeah, there we go. Oh no. Oh god. Please game. Ah, it's not gonna work. Nah. Forget about it. Forget about it. Oh, I just need one more. Where's my... 
Oh, animal welfare has attracted protesters. Oh, you're still... All right, hold on. Pause. P pause. 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 Uh... Boom. I can fix this. Oh my god, finally. <laughs> right, you're in Trade Center. And you're also in the Trade Center. Uh, let's just have you delivered, shall we? You stinkers. There aren't... I don't have the, uh, the pack installed, so I don't have the... Um, don't have access to the... Uh, oh, I need to do grizzly bear research, I guess. I don't have access to the um, toilet pack creatures, or animals, I should say. Uh, really exciting hearing about the new DLC. Thank you so much, Isaac. Happy to hear that. Owlyoop, welcome to the Frontier Fan. Thank you for joining us. Silver Star! On easy mode, and all my animals are dying. Just not big enough. We sold out of those bear plushies in the shop. I'm rather glad about that. They were a bit of a fire risk. Myers. You're such a... <laughs> I'm not going to say it because it's not... Uh, but he, he is such a... Oh, these bots. Go away. Thank you to my mods for making sure that all these bots are being swiftly and quickly taken care of. Uh, oh god, that's way too much sand. Right, we need, oh, we need snow. Right, you need to be cooled down. Um, let's get some more short grass in here. Remove all of the sand. And uh, da, 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 da. let's put some let's put some soil in here as well. Something tells me that this tiger needs. Uh, uh, uh. Snow just turns it right. Yeah, I know. I just wanted to, to add it in just in case. Um, reproduction captivity easy, wonderful. Uh, habitat minus four to minus twenty eight. All right. Let's cool this tiger down. Right there. And you should be at about minus four. Minus seven. Yeah, let's make it minus seven. Okay. Species. Do, do, do. Where's our Siberian tiger? All right, you need food and water. Let's give you a large food tray. Big old water trough. A water pipe. Ah, there's the snow. Wonderful. And how are you doing on other things? You need shelter, of course, like they all do. Oh, last time. Mm. I've learned this the hard way. I should not do the shelters with the slanted roof. Because they will just climb on it, onto it. This should probably do it for you. Yep. And you don't have any water. You need some... Plant coverage, we can absolutely do that for you. Uh, all right, oh, that's a big tree. And it's not a good tree for you. Let's get some of these bamboo in here. There we go. More trees, cypress tree. That didn't count. All 
All right. Oh. <laughs> well, let's get some. Um, Oh, I know there's a thing. Hold on. Let's go to my heat map and then uh, should be habitat. Yeah, traversable area. Jumpable escape point. Yeah, right here. Is it now though? No? Fantastic. All right, should be fine. Okay, so we need to research grizzly bears. We need, I mean, I might actually, I've, I might actually make this, but um, uh, hold on, just a quick message. Career and franchise mode just block my creativity. So there is, there is less creativity for me, obviously, in this mode, but uh, at least I'm getting somewhere. So, okay, now that we have, we have the Siberian tiger, great, we thought ahead. We just need to do the grizzly bear research level. We've already had an inspection, and we did get a three-star rating. So now I just need to keep this guest count up. That should hopefully be fine. Um, but I do think I do think that I'm actually going to call it there because it's getting a little bit late, and I'm feeling the <laughs> feeling the stressor definitely on this uh, this map here. But um, what I'm going to do. All right, let me just go back here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to save my game. Uh, and then, since obviously I'm not the usual host for these streams, but uh, and Eltanen usually is. And whenever Eltanen plays Planet Zoo, they uh, mess around in what's known as Plan Elt Zoo, which is their community zoo. So. You did good, <laughs> says Heather G. Thank you. So I think last time I did this, I we added in a little present to El Tannen's zoo. And so I thought we should probably do the same this time as well. So as a last little last little thing, uh, we're gonna we're just gonna we're just gonna add a little something something to Plan Elt Zoo before we go. So let's just uh, let's just get this loaded up here. Ooh. And <laughs> Heather had a great suggestion during uh, uh, during a previous one where I was a, a, a guest. So let's see here. We're going to go back here. <laughs> All right. So this has been sort of a sticking point for a lot of people that there aren't any actual red cranes within this red crane habitat. And so let's just add some cranes. Four to eight, up to 79 males, up to 79 females. Okay, so I guess I'll do, yeah, let's do one of each. Rot row. And I can probably, something tells me that I'm just going to get a very angry text at some point. Oh, there's a lot of, lot of badgers and otters here. Oh, so many flamingos. Oh, there's, oh, there's cranes here already. Interesting. Hmm. Mm. 
Why not 100 crates? That's way too many crates. <laughs> Go away, nothing to see here. I'm going to keep the sign, though. I am going to keep the sign. All right, let's speed things up a little bit. And there's our keepers. And there's our lovely red crown cranes. Oh, right, they don't actually have barriers in here, do they? <laughs> I may not have thought this through. So, unfortunately, I'm going to have to send the Red Crown Cranes back. <laughs> Bye, Red Crown Cranes. I love you. I mean, there's still, the, there's still these ones, so, you know, unfortunately. Unfortunately, the Red Crown Cranes will have to stay in the, the trade ship, the, the, the shelter. All right. Bye, Cranes. I'll see you later. Uh, no, actually, what I will do, what I will do, is um, I, should ha I should have some statues, right? There we go. I've got a giant panda. Oh, I've got grizzly bear. Let's uh, all right. Select group. Why not have a cool bear chilling on top of... Oh, I know. Let's do the count. It's the Council of Bears on top of this cool restaurant. So we've got one bear there. And then we've got a gold panda bear. Just... Oh, no. That's a bit too soon. Just chilling out. We've got one panda bear there. And do we have other bears here? We don't. But we can do... A silver panda bear. There. And then we can do a bronze grizzly bear. Rename all the animal yens. No. I, <laughs> that would be funny, though. All right. It's the Council of Bears. Here we go. Council of Bears. And that, I think is where we're going to sign off for now. Make sure to save. Okie dokie. And so I do believe, uh, according to messages coming in, uh, we're going we're gonna to be doing a raid as well. But before we do that, I'm just going to say, <laughs> I'm going to say thank you all so much for joining me for this career mode live stream. It was a bit stressful. And I'm sorry if at one point I was way too focused on the game than I was on the chat. But obviously I want to say a lot of uh, a huge thank you to everyone for, for helping out in chat as well. And uh, if you're uh, watching this over on Twitch, please join us as we raid uh, Wixie uh, very, very shortly. And uh, Eltanen is probably going to be back next week for more uh, playthroughs of Plan, Plan Elt Zoo. Um, but uh, yes, also... During the stream, we had a lot of people joining us in the Frontier Fam. So Oblivions, Raining Clouds, Notterbox, Freelancer, Pinlade, Arona, uh, Hey, Schmike, Owlyoop, and Branchclaw. Shout out to you guys. Shout out to the rest of the uh, uh, Planet Zoo and Frontier community team. Shout out, of course, to the mods uh, for keeping it down in chat, to Heather G, Aramis, and to Osric. And uh, as I uh, sign off, uh, please stick around. Uh, over on Twitch for the raid, which is going to happen very, very, very soon. Um, but uh, thank you so much for watching, everyone, and uh, we'll see you again next week.